Aloha. We know that that is not just a greeting, but it is a word that means love, the love of Christ that has brought us together on these beautiful islands that we call our home. And we thank God for that love that we share with one another as one ohana, as one family. We are one diocese, and each parish is very important because it is where people meet and gather to worship, to be inspired by God's word, and to reach out to those who are in need. Our diocese ministers in diverse languages and customs. Together, this diverse set of cultures, expanding growth and the need to continue the tradition of our faith is clearly God's mandate a roadmap for our future mission here on our precious islands. Today, we begin an exciting journey, a journey to rekindle our faith in the future of our church here in Hawaii. It begins with grateful hearts for all that has come before us and in anticipation of what the future holds tomorrow. One of the most exciting elements of the capital campaign is the parish share. In fact, the way the bishop has structured the capital campaign, he has made the parish share the largest piece of the pie. I think that helps to underscore the importance of our parish communities and the commitment the bishop has to making sure our parish communities have all of the resources they need to activate their ministries and their mission. We certainly have to address faith formation in our diocese to help our adults understand better their faith and to step forward and use the talents that God has blessed them with. If we don't know our faith, then we can't pass that on to other people. For example, you know, if we were gonna build a church, we wouldn't ask a bunch of volunteers and not give them training in carpentry or something like that. And it's the same with ministry. Uh, you need training to do anything well. And we have the people that have really good hearts and really want to serve. So it's very important for us to give them that training that they need in order to do a good job at what they're hoping to do. Today we live in a world that is increasingly complicated and people want to be able to engage the culture with their faith. Faith formation is about that preaching that message, helping people to experience that kind of God, that kind of salvation in Christ, and giving people the tools to be able to share and invite others to join in that same mission. It is often said that the youth are the church of tomorrow, but we all know they are the church of today. One of the key case elements in our capital campaign is to support our youth and young adult ministries. The church needs to respond and, and come up with some quality programs and some quality ways that uh, we can show the youth that God is real and that God does care about them and that God does impact their lives. Bishop has structured the capital campaign to fund a resource office that will train young people, will train leaders that can indeed help our young people engage the culture, engage life and bring vitality to the church and to our communities. One of the most important dimensions of the church's service is outreach to those who are poor and in need. One of the priorities of the diocese is service to the homeless and to those who do not have adequate resources to meet their daily needs. People will come from all over the island looking for food. They can't even stay in the parks. They get kicked out of the parks at 10 o'clock at night, and they sleep on the sidewalk, and at 4 o'clock in the morning, they can go back into the park, you know? But um, lots of them have jobs. They just cannot afford housing. So very concretely, we help people not only with rent assistance, but our food programs. We help to provide training opportunities for people so that they can have a better future. One of the things that we also do is support Catholic Charities Hawaii. 
and in the process of supporting them, they have grown so much that they have had to find new facilities. My parents raised me to be involved with God and to create a relationship with Him. And it's really helped me get through a lot of things that I've gotten through. And so it's really important that I stay um, like close with Him and, and being able to learn in an environment where people help teach you more about Him is really great. Our tuition assistance program assists not only Catholics in attending Catholic schools, but non-Catholics in attending Catholic schools. And the gift of a Catholic education can give them an opportunity to come to know Christ. It's so important for children to be able to at least have an opportunity for Catholic education. It's very difficult because with the rising costs of so many things, it's challenging for parents to be able to afford to be in a Catholic school. And so without tuition assistance, some parents cannot even consider it as a choice. Vocations is one of the most important issues that we face here in the diocese. We have a growing and very diverse Catholic community, and we want to make sure that we have priests that are able to serve that community. Another case element is the retirement fund for our priests by making sure that they are well provided for in their retirement years. The church in Hawaii is a growing church. Our churches are overflowing even after expansion. So we have the need not only to expand some existing facilities, but to build actual new parish communities. We need to respond to that by not only purchasing land today, but making sure that our communities and the generations in the future will have the facilities and the lands they need to be able to give honor and glory to our God. This cathedral represents and is the mother church for all of the other church communities here in Hawaii. When we contribute to its renovation, we are not only expressing our gratitude to the past, but we are also supporting a symbol that is a sign of our unity. We are one community. Today we begin an exciting journey, a journey to rekindle our faith in the future of our church here in Hawaii. We know that it will be a time of prayer. It will be a time of sacrifice because Jesus sacrificed himself and we are called to join with him in giving of ourselves so that we can be made holy through his sacrifice. True, many believe that sacrifice is a harsh word, but it is not. The word sacrifice comes from two Latin words, facere, to make, sacrum, holy. And quite simply, that is what we're about. So come, join me and all the other Catholics of the diocese as we celebrate the rich legacy of our past and we move forward with grateful hearts.